Hi, in this lesson we're going to learn the basics of formulas in Excel 2007. These calculations can be performed in any version of Excel. To the left we have a reference of the order of mathematics. First we're going to take these records of people who have gone to the shop and purchased the following produce. First click into the cell that you would like to place your, your formula in to calculate 5 apples at 10 cents each. So I've clicked into I4. Always start a formula with equals. So type the equals sign in on your keyboard and click with the mouse on 5. It's better to click instead of typing because it reduces the possibility of errors and keyboard typos. Next, you're going to need your multiplication key, which is the asterisk next to the 8 key on your keyboard. And finally, click on the 10 cents. So we all know what this is going to be. 5 times 10 should be 50 cents. When I hit enter now on the keyboard, our results should show up in I4. Let's do the next one. You can perform the actual calculation in the cell itself, or you can go and place it into the formula bar right here. It's the same thing. Let me demonstrate. So I've clicked up here into the formula bar and my cell, my active cell, is indicating I5. Okay, so I'm ready to start my formula. We always start a formula with equals sign. And now I click with the mouse on Bernie's Bananas 10. Put our multiplication sign in, which is the asterisk, and click on the 20 cents. So 10 times 20 should be $2. Let's hit enter and find out. $2. I don't need to perform the rest of the calculations manually. I can just drag the formula down. So if we're happy with the top one, we can just move the Excel mouse to the bottom right corner and drag it all the way down. Okay, now we should have an accurate subtotal here for each person's produce that they've purchased. The reason why there's zero amount of dollars in this column is because we need a different formula for this one. Let's use the sum function. That can be found at the top here in Excel's home tab. There's a link to it right here, this small icon. If you click on the E, the backward E, we get the sum function. The sum will allow us to see the range in which it's going to add up, which is this subtotal column here. And all we need to do is check the parameters of the formula, I4 through I8. That looks correct. And hit enter with your keyboard. 595. We can also do the same with the totals of the quantities. So just click where you want your formula to go. Click on your sum icon. Check the range, G4 through G8, that looks correct to me, and hit enter. We have a total of 22 quantities purchased. Now, if that's the wrong format, you can just click on it and turn it back to general. That's better. This one here, we do want it to be dollars. So the total amount of money spent was $5.95. We can check that also by highlighting the subtotals from Annie, Bernie, Kathy, Terry and Patrick and then having a look here on our status bar and we can see the sum is 595. It also gives us a count of five people and the average cost of each spend. That concludes our lesson today. I hope you've enjoyed it.